Welcome back. It's a great uh, moment sponsored by none other than Rock Boom, a product of Harris International, who are the sponsors not only for this show, but of course for the Rock Boom rally team. And uh, Fort Porto Reloaded. Let's get to see ourselves at Boma Ground. And I know I'm talking, I'm throwing butterflies in the stomach of the man. He has a big history to tell. Uh, join me to welcome Rion Sinyange on set with me. Welcome, Rion. Sure, thank you. Long uh, time. Yeah, it's been a while. I think the last time I was hosted was uh, the end of last year. Last year? Yeah, the end of last year. That was before the Massacre Rally. Oh, too. And uh, I guess uh, it comes with good fortunes. Every time <laughs> I've been hosted before a rally, before we actually rally. win the rally. <laughs> so uh, I'm looking forward to... Uh, you should always make uh, speed races as your home away. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's, 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 be, it's good being here again. Yep. And um, I'm sure that uh, with this, uh, victory is for us in Fort Porto. Oh, Fort Porto. Uh, well, uh, talking about the victory in Fort Porto, it seems like it's far-fetching. <laughs> You're one of the people who can live to tell what uh, happened last year yeah. uh, with the drop-up at that day one, yeah. uh, run one of the super special stage. And of course, your struggles were so high that you couldn't even run up to fixing up the car uh, to battle your way in day two. Uh, what is your fresh memory about the rally? Um, I must say we walked into the Fort Porto rally really going for the points. Yeah. Uh, we were hot in the championship, chasing Futidis about that time. And uh, yes, uh, Fort Porto, I must say, we've been a, a bit jinxed around that particular oh, rally. Sure. <laughs> so we started off well, uh, the two point something kilometer circuit uh, must have come off easy, but we didn't even make two kilometers in that run. Yeah. And uh, the car gave way, uh, transmission, something broke. Which, of course, brought an end to our event yeah. too early in, 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 in that particular event. rally. But I mean, that's the nature of rally, that's the nature of motorsport. If you can't really fix something then, in the service time and all of that, you pack your bags and uh, head back to Kampala. So, but thankfully, we stayed around and supported every other team that uh, was oh, there. Oh, too. <laughs> too. I love the way, I love the way, actually, how you confide in yourself and the team. Team spirit is so high, 100% over plus. Absolutely. You, you really, you won't cry over spilled milk, yeah. no. Um, it's the nature of the sport. If you really can't do much about a car, definitely stay around and, and, and support any other crew that uh, will be performing on the day. On the day. Uh, so it's the kind of uh, relationship we have around local rally. Mm. So um, that's model sport for you. And then uh, giving you a history of that same thing, are the goals of uh, Toro appreciating you uh, yet? <laughs> and you're almost a son born to one of the hybrids, yes, uh, their own. Yes. And of course, the previous year, it was a role in the EFF. And uh, uh, the next proceeding year, a circuit, your car gave way. Uh, do you think your gods are going to accept you as a grandson of their own, uh, ahead of uh, Ronald Sebogu's uh, nemesis? <laughs> I must say, uh, yes, my mother is actually from Fort Porto. Uh, yeah, sure. Great. So I, I guess I have to talk to her nicely this time around oh. to see that things work out. <laughs> but uh, yes, the, in 2016, uh, Ronald was with Cedric. Cedric, yeah. Uh, yes, a few issues, but they managed to finish that event. I personally haven't been able to finish Fort Porto. Oh, yes. 2000 and, uh, no, actually, in 2015, it was with Cedric. So Cedric, 2016, yes, we had a role at the final stage. <laughs> yeah, very disappointing, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you mature through those kind of things. Uh, 2017, uh, barely two kilometers into the event. The event. Uh, I'm hoping the fortunes can turn around this, uh, this, this particular rally, this particular round. So, uh, yes, I mean, you only have to keep your hopes high. high yeah. yeah, you don't really have to look much back at the previous uh, rallies and say, okay, yeah, maybe, maybe this, maybe that. No, uh, we're very positive going into Fort Porto. And, uh, yeah. And, and actually, the, we need to win it. We, we have to win oh, it, and sure. they're going to win it. <laughs> I see the confidence. I love that bit of confidence. And I respect you guys, the V Power sponsor team. I know much, much uh, breed of uh, competitions coming from uh, youngsters yeah. who have seen you race for a decade now, and others are breeding up. And of course, I love the way the rocky guy is now catching you up. That is Yunis and Bagoda. He's, uh, could we say he's been a little bit more luckier, or no. he's just making a good feel of his car so far? And I'll take this from uh, a driver I navigated for. Perspective, uh, yeah. Yeah, Shafiq Samuju. Mm. We really had a very good time. Yeah. And it's pretty much the same thing that Unison is going through. Through, yeah. Uh, car, driver, navigator, everything is working in tandem for him. Mm. And uh, the best he can actually wish for is that the season keeps going like that for him. 
And like everybody else, I believe mm -hmm. he's already the the driver of the season. The Just season. three rounds into the event, the event. into the into the year, oh, yeah. so he's already everybody's driver for the season. Mm -hmm. um, I believe everybody else wishes that the, the same run of fortune keeps going for him, for him. up to the, to the, the round end of seven. The season, yeah. yeah, it would be good to see where he finishes. It would be good to see if he if he can actually even win a rally mm -hmm. at one particular mm -hmm. point. And it's it. very possible. Oh, sure. Yeah, so definitely, uh, there's n the, you can't take anything away from from Unisan and Unisan. Akande they've had a very good combination and uh, yes everybody else can definitely wish them well uh, then uh, uh, let's uh, first put a note on uh, the Fort Porto rally we shall get on on the same thing as we get to conclude about that uh, Masaka was another lookout on V Power team oh, God. <laughs> I even remember asking you I even told even people on the show guys John told me they had no problem. They had no problem. Nothing. nothing. Truthfully, nothing. The man is here to tell us. What happened in Masaka? You, oh, you let, went down. Let, let me ask you, what did you expect uh, in Masaka? Uh, we anticipated a podium, boss. Yes, we came close to at a least podium. one or two or three. We came close to a podium, but I think at the end of it all, the, the strategy for the team was to collect the, the <laughs> first points for the season. It didn't really matter where we finished for us. It was about pick the first points, points of the season. Of the season. So we drove the kind of drive that gets you the first points for the season. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, I'm not going to say we are going to put the same kind of drive of Masaka in Fort Porto. Oh, Fort Porto. We are going to be more aggressive. <laughs> yeah, because at least there's something in the bag now. <laughs> you, are you really making me love nerves down? No, when no. you tell me you really need needed points. Yes, um, we had Ronald a, needing points and he had to get leveled. Eh? In Embarra, we had a chance of probably winning the rally. Winning the rally. Dropped out very early on day two. Yeah. Masaka, even earlier, uh, so, uh, Ginger, Ginger, even earlier on uh, day two as well, barely four kilometers into stage one of, on on, uh, on Sunday. Yeah. So of course it takes a bit of a dip in your own confidence, and uh, you can't quite come back the same mm. for round three. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, the team strategy was go out there, get points, and let's see what we can have in the bag. Let us start with those for the next four rounds. rounds. Definitely, Team Sabuguzi is a whole different team yeah. <laughs> over the next four rounds. Uh, uh, one of the fans tickled me with a message. Uh, uh, could there have been a stroke of a cane on your backs, you guys, uh, by a sponsor? Or anyway, no, uh, nearer no. to that? <clears throat> uh, n n nothing of uh, that kind of nature. But yes, we are known for being the kind of team that, that goes out and pushes the car to its full limits. Uh, limits, yeah. But... Yeah, sometimes strategies really it's, work, it's work for you. It's oh, yeah. very key. Masaka was a very tricky rally. You could see the dropouts in the first stage in itself, that uh, the 41 kilometer stage. Uh, we don't really want to have the same kind of uh, 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 stroke of bad luck bad running. Luck. Oh, yeah. So yeah, we did it stage by stage. Let's see how we get out of the first 41, the next 41, and then the, the, the other subsequent stages. And oh, yeah. yes, we... We were able to finish. We were approximately two and a half minutes behind the overall leader. leader. And you could actually tell where those times were, were, were lost. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the first stage, Wakataka really pulled some time off us. Off, yeah. uh, the second stage as well, under the rain. If you look at uh, the person who finished second, Duncan, in that event, yeah. and the person who actually won that stage, the oh, time difference was really, really, really big. big yeah. Yeah, about two, two minutes, 45. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so you had to do the same stages again. That in itself tells you that, okay, yeah, we weren't driving, but truthfully, we weren't driving for the points. For points. Uh, same way, same fed, same rally. Uh, Timea have not gone well. Mary, Mary making for the uh, free time national champion, Jas Mangat. And uh, <coughs> it was just a few, actually, about 14 kilometers yeah. in the uh, Chabakuza uh, stage. Yeah. I saw him park aside. And uh, uh, to the surprise of many, where they would have anticipated vigor from these other hard chasers. It was like an open chance for Team Sebuguzi, <laughs> Uma Mayanja, why? Uh, Elik Nzamuita, why, why, and Fitidis. Uh, why an open uh, chance? No. <laughs> no, <we're... laughs> Guys have hosted for the last two it's, it's, series of this show. It, Say, Mangat, when Mangat away, then you guys no, are free to play. No, I think we've driven rallies before <laughs> where we've been neck and neck yeah, all, all through. Just, it's just the events of, 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 of the sport that either put you out or uh, uh, put you behind. Yes, sure. Yeah. But yeah, we are competitors, regardless of whether Jazz is in or out. Out. We are competitors. Competitors. As a team, yeah. <laughs>
I love the confidence and of course I love the way Rioni is articulative at when it comes to team spirit. I love that, man. I love that. You really well, do. I don't know. It's the nature is it of the, the confidence team. because you a public uh, communicator that no, no, you always no. say it with a perceived <laughs> well sunk mind or no. It's team spirit and team confidence and and it's cause a, a pairing of Ronald and you there's has no really doubt. Uh, proved that you're worth the moving. There's there's no doubt to the fact of the qualities of the driver that Ronald Sabuguzi is. is yeah? There's no doubt of the qualities of the kind of co-driver that sits with Ronald Sabuguzi. Sabuguzi yeah. <laughs> There's no doubt about the quality the of car, the crew, the, the preparations, team. the team. There's, there's, there's no doubt about what that team can actually do. Oh, sure. So when you have a bit of a blip in the season and, and somebody says, oh, okay, you know what, you guys are not as good as you used to be. No. It's, it's just a bleep in the season. Uh, in the season. You're watching the World Rally Championship oh, and, yeah. and we are seeing Oje the different... Having exactly. His problems, uh, Thank you very far, much. Uh, Even when Sebastian Chris. Loeb came back, he went out on a small corner. <laughs> corner. It's, uh, it's just, just imagine, the nature just of Just imagine Chris rolling in what would Thank have you. been a smooth Thank riding you. through to Thank the max. Thank you very much. So <laughs> it's, it's just the nature of the sport. Uh, those bleeps happen yeah. in any given sport. A given sport. In oh, well, guys, sport. gentlemen, you can join us live on this very show. As when you get to send your messages, I'll get to respond. Just like our Facebook bet, that is uh, Speed Racer with Frank SK, I'll be able to receive your message or send a blick of your messages on my Twitter handle, that is at uh then definitely, or Instagram at Frank Hesse. I'll be able to receive your message and Rion will be able to respond to these messages. Let's get to a short lock boom break and come back again with Rion as we sum up his subject about Fort Portal. As in, we get to see them in the next uh, one week so uh, to be happening once again. Remember, he's promised fireworks. <laughs> they won't be the same as we're hunting for point. They will be ultimately for either what the guess is as right as mine. Keep it a speed racer on Winquest Free Sports. <laughs> <laughs>